Most modern day luxury cars take a major hit on depreciation and within five years you can literally expect to lose as much as 50, 60 or even 70% of their original value. It's devastating. A lot of that has to do with the latest and the greatest often comes out better performance, more technology and as well a lot of people just don't want to be held accountable for repairing a luxury car after its warranty is expired because it can literally break the bank. You're in luck everyone because today I'm going to share a list of five amazing luxury cars that you can literally enjoy for five Five years and not feel guilty about the buy you just made. Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. So the first one on our list is this little no, that's not it. Oh, it's right over here. It's a Mercedes G63 or the G-Class Benz. What do you want to know about that? Well, let's share a few details first and explain how little you actually lose in five years. This vehicle is literally gorgeous. Every corner is very utilitarian and that's why people love these vehicles. They're holding significant value because of a lot of the amenities you get from this. This is Mercedes, it's rugged, it's been used by military and it's clearly built to last the test of time. It's not built on a soft unibody SUV like this, it's actually built on a rugged, solid platform like we're looking at here. Let's look at some of the reasons these actually do hold their value. First of all, look right here, you have a beautiful extension. This isn't the end all be all, but look, beautiful metal it's actually made to last gorgeous you have the great styling amenities with these vehicles this one here is the amg version and as you'll notice a g63 and these really do hold a significant amount of value because it has what we're looking at right there as a badge v8 and it's twin turbo tons of power wrapped under that hood and that's what people love everybody wants performance strength and as well that smooth ride you get smooth ride from big powerful v8s that idle and lumber down the road with ease and that's what these particular vehicles do most of the g-class vehicles now actually come with these types of engines what else beautiful little exhaust tips on the bottom you've got these great running boards meant to help out the little people in your life climb up in there gorgeous updated headlights look at that grill as well gorgeous headlight washers big marker lights on top right there mercedes-benz of course you got great markers there and all of this extra trim means that that yard ape driving this thing won't swing his door open and smack and cause you a dent. This will protect that vehicle. You've got these solid, rugged industrial level handles. Gorgeous mirrors. Look, it's a fold away piano gloss black. Lots of rugged built all the way around this vehicle. Everything is built for utilitarian purposes. Of course, there are beautiful wheels on there. And as well, look, big red calipers. It's an AMG series. What about inside this gorgeous vehicle? This is absolutely stunning. We have the quilted stitching, aluminum trim, and every other possible safety as well as technology amenity you can find in a vehicle available on the market today. It also has that beautiful sunroof on top, which means you can also enjoy your cake and eat it too from a luxury standpoint. Look, it even has a trailer hitch on there as well, meaning you can tow your boat to the cabin or you can haul your small trailer around. This is total utility at its finest with all of the luxury wrapped up bow on top of your cake. This is a gorgeous piece. And how much can you expect to lose in a five year time frame? Well, the beauty is, according to Car Edge, this car will only lose in a five year time frame about 23% of its original value, which is almost nothing. You can use this put on 80,000, 120,000, 150,000 kilometers and you'll get the vast majority of your money back on it. So there's a, an amazing luxury vehicle that will not lose its value. Now the second luxury vehicle on my list that holds an extreme amount of value is not this little morose piece right here because most BMWs like we're looking at right here lose value at an alarming rate. After two or three years, a lot of them are down about 30 or 40% of the original value. And by the time five years hits, a lot of these modern BMWs are down around 60% lost or 55% which you would find in a case like this particular vehicle. The BMW in question that we're talking about that literally minimizes its losses is this little hot rod right here actually defies what most BMWs experience in terms of overall depreciation. This is a special car. This is unique. 
This is an enthusiast special. In other words, most people buying a standard 3 Series car get sick and tired of the maintenance and repairs. But when people buy a car like this one, this is usually purchased by somebody who actually enjoys a driving experience and is looking for something very, very specific in what they consider a great driving dynamic. And what we're looking at is this hot little car right here. Yes, these hold immense amount of value, but let's take a quick look around and I'll explain to you what that actually means. This is a a short, stout, hot little car. As you can tell, very small and petite, compounded. Of course, we have these great little flares on the back, of course, accented detail. Carbon fiber dual set of exhaust tips there. We have a beautiful set of carbon fiber splitter on the back. This is gorgeous. We also have a carbon fiber rear wing or lip on the back of this trunk. Just look at the sides of this car. Massive flares that come out and the car just looks aggressive. And that's part of the reason these things are so sought after. It's the, it's the short, compact, aggressive flares and everything that this thing represents, which is the driving experience. We have this little shark fin radio antenna and you'll notice there's no sunroof here because sunroof adds weight and weight is the enemy of performance and most driving enthusiasts like their cars stripped down and basic for maximum performance. What else do we have right here? Look, beautiful M2 logo on the side beautiful calipers that say M on them, of course. Gorgeous wheels right there. And you'll notice we also have a cross-drilled rotor, which means that you can dissipate heat a lot better on those aggressive driving experiences. Here we have these beautiful rocker panel down the side, and you'll notice this great little carbon fiber flare up here on the back. This is dr driving dynamics at its finest from BMW. What about the interior? Very, very nice. You've got dry carbon in the center console. This is the double clutch transmission, which is a lightning fast. You've got beautiful stitching that's in blue to match the exterior of the car. Absolutely gorgeous bolstering. This car is literally a hot rod. And it has some other great attributes too. The later generation of this has what they call the S55 engine, which is the sport tuned version, or essentially the M3 and M4 engine would normally go under here. This is the older generation generation of the M2, still a hot rod. This has the N55 engine, which is sport tuned further than the standard engine that you find in most of the three and four series cars. So this one definitely puts down the performance numbers. It sounds great. It looks great. It drives really well and actually literally like it's on rails. And again, as I say, that's why people buy these and that's why they want them. And that's why they hold a higher value than most other BMWs. And you can literally expect this car to be worth $46,000 after five years, which means you can get in, drive the wheels off it, race it, track it, return it, trade it in, and only lose a small amount of your cash. This is literally one of BMW's rarest gems. And if you want a modern luxury vehicle that does all of the fun and frivolity without giving up your ghost on in terms of value, this definitely is it, the BMW M2. And the next luxury car that you literally won't lose your shirt on, as a matter of fact, and what we're looking at here is this beautiful little Lexus. But what exactly is this? And why is it holding such great value? Well, first of all, look at it. Beautiful, look at those lights on the front. I love that design. Of course, you have a very stout and aggressive front profile. If you look at it from the side, it looks great. These massive vents on the front as well, that opening there. Not everybody loves, some do, some don't. Projector headlamps right there. Nice flare on the front. And as well, a little bit of flare along down the back here as you look around here. Of course, you look up there, you see a beautiful sunroof to illuminate inside the cabin for all your happy little folks. Down here, of course, we have a soft touch handle, easy access in, great little mirror, of course, with the LED on the strip there. What we're looking at is an F-Sport right here. And as you look here, you've got these great lines. They just follow the suit up there. Great looking car. How about the wheels? Beautiful wheels by Lexus. Of course, rocker panel just flares along and it looks great. You also have this little shark fin here to protect from rock damage. And looking along the side here, of course, you have this beautiful ducktail. Again, F-Sport. And we're looking at an all-wheel drive IS 300. We have one exhaust tip and then there's another exhaust tip over there. Great little rear valence too. And the overall car in the presence is just beautiful. The interior is literally one of the best that you can find on the market today. High quality touches everywhere, great leather, great bolstering, it wears well, and it's just nicely styled. Now this is an IS300, but the real car that would make my list would be the IS350, which actually comes with a three and a half liter V6. It's naturally aspirated. In other words, there's no turbo, so it's super reliable, and it's Lexus. Everybody knows it's reliable. That's why they hold their value. Makes about 311 horsepower. When it comes outfitted with the all wheel drive, it's practical, sporty, reliable. What's not the love about this car? 
Now a beautiful IS350 in today's market, after five years, you're likely going to anticipate approximately 29% of its original value gone, which means it's still worth over $40,000 in five years. You literally almost lose nothing maintaining, operating, owning these for five years. Get your fun, get your excitement, and then move off to the next one. Lexus will likely buy back a well-maintained car back off you as well, and you literally can't go wrong by buying such a great vehicle like this. Sporty, styling, drives well, and ultra-reliable. That's why these cars, the IS series, hold their value like almost no other. And here's the next vehicle on our list that will literally hold an immense amount of value after you own it for five short years. Porsche has always done a great job of keeping value. What exactly is this? Right there, it's a Macan S. Beautiful headlights on the front. You'll notice they have a big, strong front grille. Very, very imposing on the front end of this vehicle. It's a gorgeous little SUV, what we're looking at right here. Beautiful wheels and actually a Porsche gray calipers tucked in there. And we have a beautiful set of ventilated discs, as you can see right there. Beautiful. Job well done. Look at that tight suspension absolutely advanced beyond what most manufacturers are doing today. Here we have this great clamshell hood, pops up. Of course, right there you see it flips up right here, almost like some of the Jaguars of yesteryear. That whole piece flips up. We have this beautiful mirror that folds away, high gloss and LEDs. Of course, soft touch there, beautiful, sleek, front and back as well. And look, lots of glass on top, makes it very, very nice. Let's all the sun inside for all the happy little passengers rolling around in there. And of course, we look down here and we're dealing with a beautiful set of rear tail lights here with this wonderful light bar there. Down here, you get lots of plastic to keep the rocks off the paint and the unfinished places that actually will look bad after a few short years. This is built to last. You've got a beautiful set of quad exhaust tips right there. It's a twin turbo V6 tucked under the hood. And that's really what you want to get is one of these with the V6. But what's the interior like? You literally feel like you're flying the space shuttle or possibly the latest Boeing 737 Max. There's many different configurations of this. This is the S model. You can get a base model, which is a two liter four cylinder turbo engine, makes about 260 horsepower. Comes with an iron block, that's right, aluminum heads, great piece. Of course, now you can get this model, which is 375 horsepower. Also a seven speed double clutch transmission called their PDK. Again, makes 375 horse and actually puts it down in an immense way. These vehicles do all come all wheel drive and you can get many different different configurations in performance add-ons, different larger wheels. You can get sport chrono package. You can also get other models like the GTS as well as the turbo and a Model T. <laughs> Not really appropriate. They're great vehicles and they hold their value extremely well. But what I can say is after five short years, this Porsche Macan you can expect on average to hold about 40% of its original value to the tune of about $45,000 is retained, making this vehicle easy to own, easy to have fun with, and literally a non-guilt opportunity to buy yourself into one of the best car manufacturers in the luxury and performance sports car branding that you can find anywhere on this planet, the Porsche Macan. And number five is the best vehicle for holding maximum value retention over the course of five years is this beautiful little hot rod we see here parked in gray, this wonderful little convertible. Some people love 911s, some people don't. I'll tell you this much for free, Corvette, eat your heart out. You ain't got nothing on a 911, but let's talk specifically about what you can expect with some of these cars. Let's look. A Porsche 911 is legendary for its looks and style. They've created a car that's always looked like this. You've got the bug eye headlights. You've got a beautiful rounded front fascia on there. We're looking at a 991 generation of the 911 here. Of course, Porsche has created many different variations. But one thing that's common as well is they're all rear engine. In other words, transaxle or basically gearbox through the wheels and the engine hanging out back of that wheels. A lot of the modern day supercars, you'll find the engines in front of the gearbox making it a mid-engine. This is in fact, the 911 is a rear engine car and always has been. They've also had many, many styling cues that have carried very much through the different generations. But one thing that constantly changes for the sake of slight evolution, look at these gorgeous little tail lights right here on this Porsche 911. One tailpipe and two tailpipes as we see right in there. And look at those gorgeous glorious wheels 
absolutely stunning right there. We do notice that the brakes on these 911s though are cross-drilled and ventilated. So in other words, they are truly meant to haul this car down from speeds, is more made and suited for the racetrack than many other cars you'll find on the street today. These 911s, you'll have a gas filler right here. Beautiful little mirrors that do fold away. Wonderful little handles, that soft touch to get in. Of course, you'll notice this little shark fin that's a little like an expel film to actually protect that quarter panel from taking the rocks off that front wheel. This is a subjected area that typically will take a beating. The interior is wonderful. Very simplistic, slightly spartan, although every piece of equipment in here is made of high quality materials. There's no cheap going on in a modern day 911. You also notice this is the double clutch transmission, or in other words, the PDK. You can shift either on the console or on the paddle shifters behind the wheel. These cars are great. You can get naturally aspirated cars if you go back many years to twin turbos in the Carreras now as well. Bigger horsepower, bigger displacement in a true turbo model. You can get the GT3, GT3 RSs. It's almost dizzying how many different models you can get in a Porsche 911. But the one thing that's consistent is the value they retain because a lot of people see the value in these vehicles. They're high quality, they're built well, and while they're not cheap to maintain and operate, at least you can get in and out of one in a five year time frame for as little as 15% value lost, which really isn't much more than taking a trip to Mexico every couple of years with the family. That's all you're really gonna give away on this car. You can own one of the best sports cars known to mankind, and you can do all of that with little or no guilt. Porsche 911 is a winner. Now with all of that said, right there you're gonna wanna check it out. That's actually a list of several luxury vehicles that will last over 300,000 miles. Hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.